Published 1500 Eastern Standard Time, the 3rd of March 2019. Updated 1501 Eastern Standard Time, the 3rd of March 2019. Smoke billows from the Islamic State groups last told out of Baghuz in the eastern Syria as U.S. backed fighters battle to crush its caliphate. The rattle of guns, bomb blasts, and black smoke, a deluge of fire is being unleashed on the Islamic State's last Syrian stronghold by Kurdish led and international forces. Watch out, it's coming. Kurdish commander Haggad Kamishlo shouts to AFP journalists from the terrace of a house that overlooks a battlefield some 800 meters away. A few minutes later, a low growl announces the arrival of a plane from the U.S.-led coalition. It hits one of the jihadist positions, the explosion sending a shockwave juddering through the landscape and reducing several houses to dust in the Ishaud sliver of Baghouse village. Well played. That was a jihadist sniper position, Kamishlo relays into his walkie-talkie. He then asks fellow Syrian Democratic Forces SDF units on the ground if they have coordinates for other enemy positions to feed to the coalition. The jihadists patch of territory, a bombed-out cluster of buildings next to tents that for weeks allowed fighters to hide among civilians, is down to 700 square meters. It is just a tiny fraction of the caliphate Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi declared in 2014 that sprawled across swaths of both Syria and neighboring Iraq. An hour earlier, a coalition air strike targeting another jihadist position hit an underground ammunition store. It triggered an enormous and extended explosion, accompanied by a series of fireballs that were celebrated by Kurdish and Arab SDF fighters. The most radical, a two-week suspension of operations by the SDF, motivated by concerns about the use of civilians as human shields by us, had given the jihadists respite. The offensive resumed on Friday evening, with the holdout forces resisting. They are completely encircled, another SDF commander, Sefkin, tells AFP. But they have planted mines along all the roads, and in the houses, he says. Several mines seriously wounded SDF fighters in the early hours of the assault. The Kurdish-led Syrian Democratic Forces had paused their offensive on the last Islamic State group pulled out in Syria to allow civilians to flee after a short nighttime interval. The fighting, SDF artillery and mortar fire, countered by the jihadists' smaller projectiles, sniper fire and mines, resumed early Sunday. Is had also booby-trapped cars, but they have not had the time to use them against us because we have neutralized them with drone strikes, Sefkin adds. SDF commanders have repeated for several weeks that the end is near for us. It may take another four or five days or so to finally prevail, they now say, depending on how many diehards remain in the way. With the tunnels that they dug, we don't know how many of them there are, Sefkin admits. Fellow Commander Kamishlo says Iraqis figure are among the remaining hardcore, but foreigners are more numerous, including Russians, Turks, Tunisians, Central Asians and at least seven from France. During the two-week humanitarian window, more than 10,000 people vacated Baghouse for SDF-held territory, including many wives and children of jihadists that is allowed to leave. But other wives and offspring of his fighters remain in the group's besieged and bombarded tunnels. Those that have stayed are there to fight or blow themselves up, they are the most radical, insists Kamishlo. Sorry we are not currently accepting comments on this article.